Hey guys, what is up? It's Safwan Aviation here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be starting off a new series and that is how to make your own 1 to 400 scale model airport. Now, uh, actually, the fun thing is that one year ago when I was making this airport, I was about to start this series then. But then I thought that it would not make that much sense that I'm making uh, I'm shooting the videos for this series when I'm actually just in the process of just making my airport But now one year later. I do have the experience and uh, what it takes to get uh, To finish a model airport and uh, how much time consuming it is anyways, I've uh, started this series for people who are planning to make their model airport. I hope this helps I'll be basically giving out tips and tricks to you know complete your model airport. Um, I am of course not an ex, uh, not an ex, not an expert at making model airports, but I do have experience because I have made my own airport. And uh, this episode, in particular, uh, episode one, is just about planning. How you should plan your airport. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So, uh, three things that I would say, I've uh, shortlisted, that you would basically need to get or to do, is to first you need to get the measurements. Uh, so, for the measurements, is uh, decide where you want to place your airport. So, once you've decided where you want to place your airport, for example, my airport is in my bedroom. Wherever you decide to place your airport, take the measurements. See how much space do you have. Allot that space. For example, my model airport is 6 by 4 feet, which is quite like a decent huge size. Now if you have this much space, space, it's great, it's a big airport. And if you have more, then you can increase it to 8 by 4 or 9 by 4, 10 by 4, I don't know. You can increase or decrease the width, you know, according to the space that you have. You don't want to make it too tight, but you know. So uh, first, take down the measurements. Then, the thing is, you need to do budgeting. Budgeting in the sense, for example, go to a local uh, wood store, I'd say, uh, and uh, just check out the prices for different sorts of wood. Because my airport, for example, is uh, made on MDF board, which is medium density uh, board. And it's quite decent because it's sturdy, it's uh, not light, but sturdy and, you know, gets the work done. Uh, go get the prices. My this MDF 6x4 MDF board cost uh, $25 with the stands. So my stands are also wood, but this uh, it's not MDF wood. It's some different sort of wood, wood which uh, even I don't know what type it is, but it's a different type of wood. Uh, yeah, so you decide on what type of wood you want or whatever surface you want to make your airport in on uh, some people make it on cartons or stuff like that just saying that you just decide on what surface you want to actually make your airport on and um, plan what materials you want to get for example my airport I've made it with uh, acrylic paints and then we've got paint markers and stuff like that uh, I have already told you what I've like used in my MLA airport because I already know but uh, yeah that is it and then drawing a map once you have your space allotted and your budget made because budget is quite important you need to know how much money you can spend on your airport I uh, I think in the starting spend around $200 in total to do all the stuff for my airport uh, some of that uh, like a small portion of that money did go to waste uh, but anyways uh, 150 200 dollars everybody has a different budget you can if you have a higher budget like 300 dollars 400 dollars then you can make an even better airport uh even bigger and you can use more like refined products but mine is good uh cost me 200 dollars which is like decent one uh bottle paint cost me one dollar uh so yeah you do the budget how much you can spend and then spend accordingly for example if you have 200 dollars then divide how much uh, it's going to take you for the paints, how much for the brushes, how much for the paint markers and that stuff and then see how big you can have, like the maximum size of the wood or surface you can get 
with the amount of money left. And then, um, so the last thing in the planning process is basically drawing a map. Uh, and like, if you've heard, I know most of you, of course, will know, but whenever a building is made, they draw the blueprint or map first. Every project like this uh, needs a map. So you need to draw a map. Um, for drawing a map, some tips are uh, size your airport, of course, uh, you'll know your size. Then, see uh, what type of airport do you have. Uh, if it's an airport based on uh, a real airport, then you'll have to do everything that that airport has, or mostly everything. Of course, uh, these airports, the real airports are huge, and we can't like actually make one to four hundred models of them. Well, mostly, we can't. Somebody can, of course, if they have the space, like a whole room for the airport. That's another thing. But just talking about people who are keeping uh, their airport in the room or some extra space they have uh, in their house. So yeah, so. Uh, check out how what type of airport it is for example my airport is fictional so i can edit it anytime i want i just cha recently changed my the fo whole format of my airport how all the gates were placed but you can't do that with a real airport so you need like the model of a real airport so you need to uh, see what type of airport you're making and then you have to uh, you need to focus on the size so my gates, uh, I've got three A380 gates up till now, uh, eight triple seven gates. I have to make uh, narrow body gates. And I think I'm gonna be make three or four more triple seven gates and another and another A380 gate. But all the measurements and stuff, I'll give you guys in other in the next episode. But uh, basic planning, drawing uh, a map thing, uh, just see how much you ha you have. I'm gonna just gonna give an example of an A3 uh, of a triple seven gate that I have. It's a 19 by 19 by 17 centimeters, so 19 in length, 19 centimeters in length, and 18 uh, 17 centimeters in width. So that basically fits a triple seven 300 ER and also an A350 1000 because uh, the A350 1000 model is slightly longer than the A333, so you should take that into into consideration. Uh, yeah, so that is basically uh, the planning stage of um, building an airport. So once again, measurements, then budgeting and planning on what materials to get, and then third, drawing a map. Uh, so that is it. I'll be seeing you guys in other videos. Don't for forget to like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll be seeing you guys in other videos. And episode uh, two of this uh, series uh, should come soon. But let's see what's the response on this particular video. I'll also be doing a channel update uh, on the 20th of June. I've already announced that uh, on Instagram. Anyways, uh, I'll be seeing you guys in other videos. Peace.